You have a question. Yeah, so... Uh, this game... The, the one... The, the other one that finished... Yep. I was on stream and the boss fight and all that. Uh, with, where's this in that world? So, this is the same work. This is exactly the same. But with Riku, we are going through the basement as opposed to going up, like, up the stairs sort of thing. So it's kind of like the same, but reversed, if that makes sense. So, but the, the thing about Kingdom Hearts is the, the two main-ish characters are Riku and Sora. Um, Sora's very much like on the side of the light, whereas Riku's on like the dark path. So... We're kind of going through everything now on more of a darker side. So we're still in exactly the same place as we were before. But like I say, we're just we're going through the basements as opposed to uh, the uh, upper floors. Does that answer your question, any? Yeah. So this is this is still the. This is still the next version after the one you finished. Yeah. Yeah. Still the same game. It's just the opposite side of the story. So okay. To speak. Uh, that, that's, that's what I was wondering. Because unfortunately, a lot has been going on. So I've, I've, obviously, I've missed streams. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. That's going to some things up. Bye. Two-cell brain. The two-cell brain. Yeah, well, it's two cells, but they're both competing for third place. So. We've got more than two cells in that brain of yours, buddy. I don't know. I think they're defective. <laughs> there is. I have a feeling I'm gonna die here. Ah, no dying. Hey, it's Halloween. Yeah, it's Halloween town. Yeah, it's funny how I tend to go blind when I'm when I'm watching and talking to you. I, I see I see the screen. I, you know, I got this on my 55 inch, and I, sometimes I'll get there for a while and not and watching it, not actually seeing a single thing, even though I saw it. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like paying attention to, you know, like I look at chat and like what you're saying and stuff. I'm an idiot. <laughs> You're not an idiot. Uh, I think I, I could probably find a few people that would argue. Uh, and I think I would find a few people that would probably agree with me that you are not an idiot, so. <laughs> well, I, I, I can say that I definitely am not the dumbest person on the planet. I'll, I'll go with that. Because I've seen so many that are just... Yeah. It, amazed, it amazes me how stupid people are. Like, right now, I'm not going to... And I'm not going to start it or go anywhere with it. But the fact that... Uh, I'll just say, ex-president was beat twice has been... Uh, has been in court every day so long. Uh, being a traitor and everything else yet the polls are saying he's he's the best he's in the lead yeah i don't know how and it's like uh where's the gun <laughs> the, for for my temple your temple 
Yeah, I, 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 it's just embarrassing that for, I mean, I don't, I don't care whose country it is, but it's just embarrassing that so many people are, are still supporting this deed. I think I look crazy, crazy agreeing with me, look. I think that comment's aimed at you, at least. Ah, uh, well, thank you, crazy. Yeah. I appreciate that. Like it. Of course, I have a uh, certain amount of expectations on myself, and I fall short a lot, so I drag on myself, which is fine. I don't always take myself seriously. <laughs> so you can't take like you can't take take yourself serious all the time. You got to have a bit of uh, lightheartedness and a bit of fun every now and again. Yeah, I mean that's my main thing. Is, uh, I just got to keep things lighthearted, joke around. You've also got to learn not to crap on yourself all the time. So yeah, I mean I try not to. Most of the time I'm just being. Uh, self-deprecating so uh, for for my own humor so a lot of times i don't even actually mean it depends on the subject i mean everybody's ignorant of something yep uh, no matter who you are or einstein whoever stephen hawking i mean they're all ignorant of something I guarantee you uh, Stephen Hawkins and Einstein and any of the others probably couldn't uh, fix their own vehicles. <laughs> but I can guarantee you I uh, could not do the stuff they did. So yeah, they're just on the level. Well, yeah, it's Cash 22, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. Everybody has their strength and yep. weaknesses. Yeah. yeah, just focus on your strengths. And take your weaknesses in stride. Or try, try to improve to... on your weaknesses. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. Try to improve on them. Uh, and if it's not something that's important to you, yeah, hey, don't worry about it. All right, doctors. Should be sorry. You should have taken that long. You're now. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to move from the channel for half an hour. <laughs> gonna meet you from the channel. Gonna meet you from the channel for half an hour to make up for the five minutes you were away. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. <laughs> That's some, exactly. That's some. Yes. Great A American logic for you right there. Yep. Uh, and I swear to, that it's a hundred percent true there. Like the school system. You know, there's literally schools, you know, it's different depending on where you go, of course. Every school is different. Uh, for the most part. As far as how they punish you. So to speak so. Uh, for example, there was a school that I was reading about recently that they had a, they uh, instituted new rules on being like class. So if, if you were five minutes late to class, you got uh, suspended. Suspended? And, and you're, uh, you got got a zero for your grade wow that's but, but if you did not show up late if you missed the class completely no penalty so if you were gonna be a few minutes late so, so basically what they're saying is if you're gonna be late just don't bother yep i mean essentially <laughs> they thought that was a a punishment and it boggles my mind they've done that kind of crap since i was and it's like in different ways it's like are y'all stupid how is that 
how is that solving anything? I mean, you're telling me that I'm going to get in trouble and my grades going to be affected if I show up to class even it's late because, well, maybe I had a bathroom issue or whatever it may be. Uh, you don't, and they don't want to hear it as opposed to just not showing up. Okay, well, I'll just show up for my second or third period and everything is fine. Uh, unfortunately, Dr. No, I don't think Deathwish is joking. No, I am not joking. It is absolutely ridiculous here. When it comes to schools and, and and not every school is like that because it's, it literally goes from not just state to state not just city it, even within counties it's school system to school system and even down to school to school so it's so ridiculous it's crazy and they have a zero tolerance policy now that they've had for a long time so like if you got a bully that, that's been beating you up they don't say a word and they don't do anything about it you try to tell teachers you try to tell principals and they're nope not a thing not a thing is done so you get fed up and then you beat the crap out of your bully you get suspended yeah and it's like yeah, go ahead. Fine. Uh, uh, it's it's some, so ridiculous. There's, so, yeah, there's, there's some backwards logic in the school inside there somewhere. Uh, I don't even think it's backwards logic. I think it's just a complete lack of logic. <laughs> yeah, it's just unbelievably stupid. It's, I, think it's, I think it's just like power trip. I mean, I could, um, could certainly delve into that that topic a little bit more, so maybe that's something I'll uh, reserve for something else. <laughs> As, um, you know, schooling... I don't think schooling's that much better over here, if I'm honest. But that's uh, pretty backwards. Yeah, there's a lot of stupidity. I mean, granted, not every school is like that. Not every school system yeah. is like that. But yeah, that, I mean, there but there is a lot of widespread stupidity up to that. And I just realized I've been kind of blindly playing uh, on my phone. The wordscapes didn't realize it. it's a bit early for wordscapes deathwish you're about yeah. two hour an hour early well yeah it's not supposed to start to six but apparently our time went back last weekend you know, back an hour by the way you say apparently almost like he was completely completely oblivious to it <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it was just the fact that they didn't adjust their starting time. So, uh, they're, oh, okay. They still started at 6 of the previous time and not 6 of the daylight savings time. So they right, started, okay. at, started at 5 my time instead of 6. So yeah, I was just playing. <clears throat> yeah. I don't really have to look at the screen but so much. <laughs> I, I can kind of casually play while doing almost anything. It's like second nature. Yeah, it's just, yeah, so we are We, we started that, well i would say i guess it was probably me that started who knows what i've never done normally i'll wait until like a half hour after it starts before i start you started the competition in your team that wish oh uh, no problem I, 
I'm going for a, another PR. I want to try to get higher than 51,011. Okay. Uh, which is my personal record for a tournament. And uh, one of the, the, the leader on our team uh, has a benefit. Uh, uh, he, he's organized a fundraiser for bet, okay. for, for bets, <clears throat> and he's been working on that. And it, and this weekend is the full blown event, and people are donating money for bets. Okay, uh, for, for those that don't know, not not animal bets, but veterans, veterans. Of, of, yeah. the, of the military and. Yeah, there's so many homeless and so many that are committing suicide and things like that that uh, lead to yeah zero help. Once you're out, the government's like, yeah, thanks for your service. Now f off, <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So, yeah, he's he's a he's a runner. So, uh, he's, he's doing a. And promoting a benefit for vets, stuff like that. So, I, cool. bas I basically told him I uh, set it up so that uh, if anybody wants to, they can donate one dollar for every thousand points I get. Okay, cool. So, you know, if they can, or you know, whatever. And a lot of people have already donated, so that's cool. Yeah, it's it, cool that like for something that you do like casually every week that you've been able to kind of turn it into a into a good cause. Yeah, uh, uh, absolutely. I mean, it, it really does mean a lot to a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm glad to help anyway. I can. Yeah, we're kind of, um, with it being, uh, the, uh, Remembrance Day tomorrow, being the, I can never remember if it's the, yeah, I'm sure it's the Second World War, is the anniversary of the Second World War finishing? You're probably more of a history guy than me. Uh, well, Second, Second World War ended in, um, 1945. I, I know it was 1945. Yeah. Um, but no, on the um, November the 11th, every every year we have what we call Remembrance Day. So okay. it's like a. Cause the, so, well, here it's Monday is Veterans Day. Okay, so it's probably like yeah, it probably is. Same same kind of equivalent. Thing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we we kind of like have um, like a pop. It, we this time of year that you go round and you can buy like poppies support like the British Legion and who support all of the old veterans from the, the wars so yeah it's very much a big thing sort of similar kind of thing going on over here at the minute yeah especially since we're you know we're allies yeah even, even though we kicked y'all's ass when we said bye bye and moved over here and then y'all came over here to try to get in on our stuff and uh we totally just uh, ripped y'all to shreds. Sent you back, talking your own little weird language and stuff. Uh, uh, chips and biscuits and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> leave, leave, leave my food alone, dude. <laughs> How dare you come in here and insult my food. <laughs> hey, I'd, I'll be happy to come over and... Uh, and I'll eat all the British food that you want to buy me or make or anything else. What are you waiting for? Getting your... Fire up that private jet and get on over here. You know? uh, uh, well, the water pump went bad in my private jet. Oh, damn. And it's way harder to replace than in my truck. Did, did the clutch go as well? Oh, that's almost a given. If you replace your water pump, replace your pan. 
<laughs> uh, I should also replace your thermostat. Oh, jeez. Nobody watching this has ever touched anything around the car other than the gas pedal and brake. And and a, and a few in America, a very few have ever touched a clutch like an actual. Yeah, the automatics and stuff. Yeah, it just became the default. Whereas, to be fair though, all the I think automatic the popularity of automatics has definitely picked up over here in like recent times. I think possibly it's a case that maybe more cars now are coming as automatic because they're all sh like making a shift in preparation for. Um, electric vehicles, maybe, but there's definitely a lot more uh, automatic vehicles on the road now. I mean, we we shifted when we bought our last car. We it's first automatic we bought, um, and our uh, new car once it finally um, comes off the production line is going to be automatic as well. So, yeah, I don't think I'd go back now. To be fair, but it's quite nice in, in ours because. I don't know how they they come with um, like paddle shifts. Yeah. So you, I, when I ever I'm driving like a long a long distance, I'll put it into manual or I'll drive on the paddle shifts, um, which turns it into like a semi-automatic. So you have to up, you have to upshift, but it will always downshift for you. But yeah, we don't we don't have that unless you got like a. Lamborghini or some, some kind of crap. Yeah, but it's, it is pretty much like, yeah, that same sort of thing. It's like you have your paddles on your steering wheel. Yeah, um, we don't have that. The only reason I tend to drive in automatic and use the paddle shift, though, is for um, fuel economy. It's like on, on a standard A road over here, our speed national speed limit's um, 60 miles an hour on a single carriageway road. But I find that car um, doesn't go into eighth gear very often when you're driving at 60 miles an hour. So I kind of like just to put it in the manual just to get that like extra fuel economy out of it. Uh, that's uh, that's kind of like overdrive. Okay. Uh, yeah. So like, like say my my truck's a '97, but did I doctor? Yeah. Yeah, doctors, uh, have a good one. Uh, enjoy Blender. You have to, you have to post something you did in Blender on uh, Max uh, Discord. But yeah, uh, you just don't have paddle shift cars unless you get like a BMW, I, you know, a higher end car. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just automatic, literally. Uh, you know, park, reverse, neutral drive, and D2, D1, you know, or L2, L1. We can, can shift down, but we don't have the paddle. Why should get, like, uh, more of a performance car? I'm trying to say my Peugeot 2 3008 is not a performance car. Get a Peugeot. This 1.2 liter engine. <laughs> did, you say, did you say you have a Peugeot? A Peugeot. Well, it. You totally heard what I said. You were just mocking me. No, uh, I didn't know they had. Well, but I call it Peugeot, uh, like P-A-U-G-O-T. It's a really weird spelling because it's French, so... I mean, is that the kind of car you're talking about? Yeah. Well, I think I've had a spell it here. P-E-U-G-E-O-T. Okay, Peugeot. Yeah. Peugeot. There's no R. Damn it, there's no R. It's Peugeot. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. 
I haven't seen one of these cars ever here. God. I don't even know if they sell them over here anymore. Well, surely it, there's, there's, there's quite a... It'd be quite a high import tax, or there'd be quite a high cost to actually get the car in the first place, no? I don't know. I mean, we used to have dealerships. But I haven't, but I haven't seen a dealership for uh, how, how I've always said a Peugeot uh, since like the nineties. Maybe there wasn't a market for over in America. I mean, you know, you guys are. I mean, I, I'm not saying you're you're only that, but I I can imagine America is quite a Ford-dominated market. Uh, you'd be surprised. I mean, that, that's, yeah, I mean, the number one selling vehicle is Ford F-150 truck. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Honda, Kia, Hyundai, yeah. Chevy, GMC, uh, and then, the, well, uh, Chevy and GMC, same thing, kind of like Honda and Acura. Uh, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have pretty much everything, but there's like even like you know, Nissan and Gotta 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 Toyota and all that stuff. But there's a lot of things that we don't get here, uh, like the Doggett or Australia stuff, like certain models. We just, we just don't get them. Which, there's quite a few that I would love to have. I mean, we still have Volkswagens, BMW. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, you got. I mean, I mean there's a bazillion choices. Just go down the road and yeah. I mean, you can see different cars. Yeah. Uh, all around you. I mean, it's not like you ride down the road and go Ford, 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 Chevy, 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 Chevy. Up uh, BMW, Mercedes. Nah, it's just, just see constant different cars all the time. Yeah, I know obviously that you do get like the European um, cars over there. I, I I guess I just assumed that it was it were less less common. Um but uh, obviously not. No, I mean I'd say I mean the European cars like Mercedes and BMW and yeah, like with you know, German cars and things like that. Very common. But they're they're higher end here. They're much more expensive. Yeah. But overall, than like say a, a, a Ford or a Chevy, or whatever you know, Toyota, Nissan. Yeah, it just depends on what level, because like some, I, I've seen some other countries have vehicle models that we don't have that would be freaking awesome, dude, because that would totally go for it, but yeah, so it's just, that's just the way to, it's just like, uh, y'all don't get what we get. Yeah. You know, so. Unless you want to pay for it, it being shipped over, and of course you're paying a whole lot of extra money. Yeah, something to say. Unless you just got money to really just throw away for a specific type of car. I mean, there's I know people that have right-hand drive. Uh, uh, BMWs and stuff. But, yeah, you can't get here. Uh, the, the, yeah, freaking sick, but yeah, it wouldn't be worth the import. Yeah. yeah fees, taxes, all that kind of crap to get it over here. And then you're also driving. Uh, basically, uh, over here would be more like a mail truck. Mail trucks were the only ones to have right hand drive. Okay. Since, you know, we're, we're on the right, 
drive on the right hand side of the road so they're on the right hand side of the vehicle so that they can put crap in your mailbox uh, and I'm, i guess it's vice versa over there not really i mean um we don't have different um you don't have left hand drive vehicles for delivering no. to mailboxes no no because oh. the, post, the postman's actually like get out and deliver by hand and they often they all just park their vehicles down the road and they'll um they'll just um yeah walk basically so i mean yeah they they do that and like the cities and stuff they, they straight up some of them don't even have vehicles they just walk 100 percent but yeah, there's places like around Richmond where they they pull up, they park, they park, and then they walk down the street, around the block, come back to the vehicle, get to the next block, or whatever. And but yeah, now nah, when you're in places like I am, Jesus, you would you would deliver to 80 houses, but you would walk nine miles. Yeah. So, you know. It's, just don't do that so yeah they have right hand drop cars that makes sense mailbox. Uh, of course you know you gotta you gotta remember we have uh crap loads more space for, for for population wise as far as overall so yeah you know we're, we're not like you know like i've seen your house on google maps yeah, and and that's like pretty close to suburbia here, actually. Yeah, but uh, yeah, from what I've seen on other th other things from over there, they're in the like upper echelon of of, of housing. Yeah, you got a you got a big yard, and you're not uh, you don't have that little tiny. Uh, eight by eight backyard. No, where it's all fenced off next to each other. Uh, that's, a, that's a typical sort of new build house that you kind of get that kind of size yard now. If you buy a yeah, brand new I, I property, don't even call that a like yard. A... <laughs> we've lived it. We've rented like brand new build houses before we bought this place, and yeah, we basically had no backyard at all. It's crazy. So, um, uh, where you are now, that's, yeah, that's more, more like America, that yeah. the average American kind of deal. All right. We got a bit of story. All right. I'll mute myself because I want to go. Uh, just for a minute. All right. Sent. You're another one of those nobodies. You've done well thus far. But to possess your powers and yet fear the darkness, what a waste. I do not fear it. I sense that you do. You're also capable of controlling the darkness. Cast away your useless fear. Open your heart. Embrace the darkness. And if I say no? Then you lose both light and darkness. And disappear. I, Lexius, will not yield to the frail heart of an infantile coward. Now, stop resisting. And let the darkness in. Let the darkness in. Turn to the earth! Yeah. Yeah. 
that run. Almost got him. Oh, hope he's dead. Given previous bosses in uh, Rechain of Memory, he's would be alive again, but nope. If he turns into the card, generally means he's dead. You're finished! Don't mock me! You were too much trouble. Too slow. Oh. You are the superiors. Forgive me, Zexion. This was a fight I should not have started. Huh. Interesting. I see you now. Lexius? Riku, I can see your heart. No, it's not. Darkness this foul could only, only be. That's it. Remember me. Let me drift into your heart. Ansem! <laughs> You called out my name. You have been thinking about me. You're afraid of the darkness I command. Good. The more you think of me, the closer my return draws. And when I have awoken, I will take hold. Your heart will be mine! Majesty. You meddlesome king! The king. He protected me. Your Majesty? Where are you? Please answer!
You're with me, aren't you? Interesting. I think oh, I like, seemed like Ansem kind of got a bit of a hold of Riku there at the end of that um, fight there with Lexius. I think that's kind of like what happened there. And then Riku's like normal side is like lost in the void, sort of. Although Ansem had kind of taken over his physical body, he was like trying to take over his heart. That's what I think happened. Probably wrong. But. Alexius is gone as well. I will take your word for that. Vexen, Larxene, Lexius. I wonder who will be next in line. I thought perhaps it might be you. Me? No way. I already took my pounding from Sora. He thinks I'm done for good. No, I think it'll be Marluxia next. For defying the organization and targeting Sora. I hope he moves exactly as his heart commands him to. So, what about you? I thought you guys had plans for Riku. Yes, we were going to set him off against the traitors. But with Marluxia gone, there is no more need. He is nothing but a nuisance now. And he's dangerous as well. After all, he took down Lexius. You know, that is not how I do things. Tell me, did you obtain the data on Riku's home? What? One of the senses died. A really... Strong one. Huh? The keeper of this castle, Marluxia, has just been felled by the Keyblade Master. Keyblade? You mean Sora? Sora is here? Yes. Want to see him? But... Can you face him? What's that mean? The world of darkness and and some shadow still nest within your heart do you plan to face sora like that are you not ashamed <laughs> sora's fate is to battle the darkness he must oppose anyone who hosts the dark in other words it's you if you don't believe the words i say then you had best see the truth with your own eyes this card this is our Yes, it is your home. Destiny Islands. Hi, Deathwish. I'm going to go for 68,824. Okay. Nice. Nice number. Um, this is completely rhetorical by the way so don't feel like you need to answer me but I feel like Lexius there said something about the head of the organization was controlling Riku but I wonder if like Ansem is actually part of the organization or if he is separate because obviously it was Anton that was controlling Riku that made us kill Lexius at the end there um but yeah, Lexius seemed to think it was somebody else. That's um, a little bit interesting. Uh, anyway, let's go to Destiny Islands. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Find the sauce. Sauce. Chicken and webs. I never thought I'd miss the islands win so much. Hmm. There was a time I couldn't wait to get off this rock. And now I'm acting all relieved. What's that? Hey!
they not hear you or they're just completely ignoring you Riku I wonder what's with you guys I don't think I've ever seen you three of you so quiet what is there something on my face guys they done disappeared Time to see what sort of card deck we've got to deal with this time. <sighs> Pretty trash one. There is a reload card in there though, which is interesting. And there's a couple of eights around a zero, so I'm going to put my shortcut there with Jewel. I think we could probably do an 880 winner jewelless, assuming that we're going to need three cards, of course. The map is pretty darn small as well, which is nice. Means we shouldn't be here for too long. back with us now Deathwish I can be oh, you, you don't have to be it was <laughs> nah, all good man uh, I enjoy being harder like part of your screen part of your thing I think it's um if I'm honest, though, I think it definitely helped, like, get through this playthrough for the majority of it. I know you haven't been here for all of it, but I think because of the general kind of way the game works and the gameplay style, it can be a bit boring at times to follow along with. So having somebody else there to kind of chew the fat with and you know, have a bit of a, a rant about different bits and pieces I, f I found, like, pretty good. So... Oh, cool. as, as I say to you every time, buddy, I appreciate it, and, um... Ah, dude. Uh, I appreciate you having me. And I, I enjoy it. Like, when you, when you have it, it's kind of like a bright star of my day. It's kind of fun to watch. It's a game I would never play. It's fun to watch. Yeah. I mean, I've been a bit torn, like, with the second half of it, though, like, with the Riku story. I don't... Because I was having this conversation with somebody else who's played the game, and I I feel like... I was on and on about the original... Like, when I first started playing the game, whether or not... how Like, how I felt about it. Um, because it was like, because it's such a different game and plays so differently to anything I've ever played before. But as I kind of got to, and I think you, you can probably kind of tell from the way I kind of played the game as well. As I got like towards the end of the original game, I think I feel like I got into it more because almost like there was like a more of a strategy element came when we were trying to have. Well, I guess say we. Um, was trying to like work out how to like beat some of those like last bosses and like come up with the strategies and I, I thought at that point like I got really into the game and it was like became quite fun the Riku stuff on like this one is a bit I don't know how to kind of like take it because it's that element that I enjoyed at the right at the end of the originals like story has been taken away from me so yeah, it's. I don't know where I kind of feel with this one. That's probably like goes back to my previous comment as well about, um, you know, I'm glad that you've been on board almost to like help me like, get through this bit because it's it can be such a. I consider like a such a boring kind of. Yeah. I know you know what I'm trying to say? 
Yeah, absolutely. Now I could, I can, I can kind of picture some games I played where I thought about even just recording them, and it's like, well, and I decided against it because it would have been, yeah, kind of boring through, through certain parts, and I would have to edit it down. So just, just so you know. Go back quicker and it wouldn't be. Yeah. Uh, I, know, I know what you mean. Yeah, I think everybody. <laughs> we all, we all, like we all I, have just games. I don't think I, I feel like I articulated it very well, so I apologize if. Uh... Oh, no, I think you articulated quite well. Yeah, I'm terrible at speaking of articulation. I'm terrible at articulating my thoughts. That's why I'm the rambly man. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you're a rambling man? Nope, 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 nope. Never, never done that in my life. Never been accused of it. Nope. I get straight to the point. Never talk about anything else. Uh, Right there, there it is. And that's the end of the day, and done. The real question, what everybody's going to want to know, though, is what you born around them? Man? No, actually, that's actually a good question. I was a very shy, quiet kid. I could. I can write in cursive and I can read in cursive, all that stuff by uh, three years old. But it wasn't until, but I never really spoke much. Okay. Until my dipshit of a biological father took me with him to a bar uh, at around three. And he was talking up some chick there i'm sitting on the bar stool i got some ice cream and gave me a sip of beer <clears throat> uh, me meanwhile yeah I was married to my mom yeah uh, but yeah apparently oh, when i got home i was like uh apparently Just, it just unleashed, and I, thought it, I was like, I got ice cream, and, and you know, telling about my my dad talking to this woman, and just that the yeah, end. I remember my dad being like, "Oh, shy." <laughs> nah, he always said like. Uh, all the way up until he died, it's like, like it. you know, uh, you, never, you never really opened your mouth like and then, no, that one time you come home and you just had a, you wouldn't stop talking. <laughs> uh, yeah. And he soon learned that the moral of the story was, don't take your kid to the bar when you want to chat up women. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> don't don't think that just because your kid is shy and doesn't talk much that he won't when he gets home. <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, you know, when I got older, I was like, well, yeah, uh, yeah, you got what you deserved. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was a, I mean, he was very talented, artist, artist was. Just that, but he could have made a living off of that, but instead he just kind of welded. And yeah. Whatever. Yeah, he, he was, he didn't give a crap about anybody but himself. Yeah, whatever.
Eh, uh, some funny memories. Very, very few because he was hardly there. That is what it is. Well, interesting that you use the phrase funny memories. Um, clearly, you feel like you can laugh about it at least now, so that's always. Oh, good. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, even when I got older, uh, 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 that, that could be a whole. whole Usually an hour segment. Uh, just on stories and things like that. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm sure, you know, any of us do certain things. Yeah, we've all got stories that we've, yeah. um, we can dive into from back in the day. Oh, uh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Like it. I don't think anybody would really find most of them interesting. Yet, so. I've got one that I want to delve into for me, though, at some point soon, so... Ah, cool. I think I've loosely mentioned it to you before, but um, actually came up in one of the comments as well on the um, YouTube videos, so... Uh, yeah. Don't recall my memory last not a, as long as uh, half a roll of toilet paper. Well, I'll let you uh, I'll let you sit on it and dwell on it, and it'll be a nice surprise when we actually get around to it then. Yep. Uh, I won't dwell on it because I, I won't remember it. And speaking of dwelling and all that, you're the only person who made a guess. So here's the answer. 70,272. That's what it was at the time of post. Now it is not that. <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying to make a, a habit again of making notes. <laughs> yeah, kind of uh, arts and crafts. Yeah. Oh, I've got a massive pad right next to me because I've been doing various bits and pieces most of the day so my pad's already filled up with that much art, art and craft stuff oh so you're on your period you're on your period your pad's filled up <laughs> oh dear god <laughs>